welcome to Let's Play Gothic 3. This is Mr. Joseph, and we join you again from the cave near Okara, where we had just cleared out some mine crawlers. Now I'm kind of taking the initiative to get rid of the rest of these badasses. Um, and I'm kind of shooting them right now, um, but I'm going to skip ahead here. And basically, after you shoot them enough, they get smart enough that they come back down this uh, the other side here. So you're going to want to be prepared for that. Because, you know, obviously that kind of puts you in a position where you're kind of almost surrounded. Or Another one of those beasts! And that's kind of freak, freaky if you're uh, facing mine crawlers, because they can be intimidating looking monsters, as you can see. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, do some damage with the fire here. And uh, let uh, Randall take the other one. And one we got him. So that less. should take care of the. Uh, a quest, a rich mine, gives some Okara reputation, a little bit of strength, which is nice. And we we'll talk to Randall about it. Tell him the, the mine is clean. clean. He knows you that. mean there aren't any more beasts alive to bother us? Very good, boy. Now we can ransack the mine undisturbed. I like how he calls me boy. So. I'm gonna bribe him to go to Okara. I'll give you 300 gold coins. Will you go to Okara now? All right, I'll go. In the Plus meantime, with you keep an eye on our mine. Plus but when I come back, Okara. I don't want the whole mine plundered, got it? And then sure. he purports to call this our mine, as if we own it, which is great. So now I'm gonna take just a brief opportunity to loot the uh, mine here after I wake up from this coma that I was apparently in. And I'm just kind of skipping ahead a little bit and just showing you bits and pieces Nothing of to the be looting. There's there. not a whole lot of excitement here. There are no special items, no uh, nothing. Just I mean, just some mineral deposits and minerals laying around near the deposits, which you could pick up. And you should be a pretty wealthy man when you get done with uh, with the looting. So, you know, like sulfur down here right next to the sulfur veins, which you can mine, both will yield the same thing. And I think I've already mined the magic ore, so I'm going to mine the iron eventually here. But iron ore laying next to the iron vein, similar to the sulfur. So, you know, just what you'd expect. And I, I guess I'm just going to grab these plants and whatnot. So anyway, I uh, skipped ahead a little bit. This is me coming up the area that takes you to the upper level of the mine. <coughs> It's kind of to the left of the, uh, I'm sorry, to the right after you walk in the mine. And, you know, just more minerals laying on the ground. We'll eventually make our way up here. Um, there are some chests up here. Lump of sulfur, as you can see, and then regular sulfur. So lumps of sulfur are different than regular sulfur, I guess is what I'm trying to show here. Um, either way, sulfur is used in some recipes for, like, I think fire arrows. But otherwise, you know, it's good. you can sell it. And here I am a few minutes later after looting other parts of this upper area here. And, you know, there's this weird pedestal, er, uh, you know, weird rock obelisk kind of laying here. Grab some iron here. I mean, not a lot of excitement, so let's skip ahead again. Some more iron. Um, you know, looting is important because it gives you the wealth that you need to complete the game, but it's also kind of uh, dry and not very exciting at times. So anyway, I guess I'm going to head down at this point, grab some more uh, mushrooms. Gotta love that uh, ominous cave music. A little bit more mining here. So yeah, how have you guys been? Uh, I've been pretty good. I had a big case in the uh, Iowa Supreme Court uh, recently, and I won, and that was my first time appearing in the Iowa Supreme Court. It's about a voting issue, and so I was very excited about that. As you know, I'm a lawyer in real life, um, and so a state Supreme Court victory is a pretty big deal for a young lawyer like myself. Um, what else have I been up to? Let's see, my cats have been driving me crazy. Uh, but I love them. 
little bit more mining here. And it's uh, spring now, so getting a lot of rain here in Iowa. I'm sure a lot of you sympathize with that or understand what that's about. Okay, so I skipped ahead. Here I am outside of the cave, having fully plundered it. I'm going to just swing over here, take a peek off over to the right. Now that city you see over there, that's the town of Silden. And we're not going to go there right now, but it is pretty. <coughs> we're going to head back towards Okara. But before I actually go back to Okara, there's one final prospective resident of the city that I would like to get. And as you can see, I'm right right next to Okara here. So just kind of go a little ways to the left of the entrance of Okara this time. And of course you'll see plants, hopefully, that you haven't gotten yet because this should be... Oops. Sorry, I just, uh, I just uh, stepped on a cord. Okay, that's better. Sorry, I had a stepped on my cord for my headphones, so I couldn't hear the music for a second. Okay, so we're approaching this guy here, and this is a new area. It's just hey, to stranger. the left of the entrance of a Have you got some out. decent booze for a miner down on his luck? I want to, to drink to myself place. into oblivion. Here you go. A Happy bottle of oblige. booze. Thanks, man. That's just what I need right... Who are you? I'm a homeless miner. My name is Owen. I lost everything that was near and dear to me in the war. I'm waiting for an orc patrol to scoop me up and send me to work in the mines. I have a better idea than handing you over to the orcs. Yeah? Uh, let's hear it then. Join the rebels. Okara isn't far from here. Okara? <clears throat> yeah, I know where that is. It's an old iron mine. But I always thought it was blocked up. Okara's mine is still being worked. <laughs> what am I doing sitting around here then? I'll give you this healing potion as thanks. I don't like this stuff anyway. So apparently healing potions have a uh, untasty or distasteful uh, taste to them. I, I don't know. But anyway, I love the fact that this guy's laying, I don't know, 100 feet from the entrance to Okara, but yet he didn't think to just go ahead and go to Okara. So anyway, I looked over that cliff and we saw those ogres standing there. So I'm going to walk down there and take them out, of course, because that's what I do. So actually, if you look just up to the top of that cliff in the background there, that's where I was looking down on those ogres. But I walked all the way around and came to the, uh, the far end of this little uh, gorge here. And we're going to go ahead and shoot these uh, ogres. Um, anyway, as I was saying, it's just inexplicable that Owen would want the orcs to come pick him up when he was standing in front of the entrance to a car. And so I don't, I don't quite understand that. Um, but it's an interesting thing anyway. Uh, he also confirmed what I mentioned last time, that Okara is an old iron mine. Now, he thought it was, uh, quote, stopped up, unquote, whatever that would mean. Uh, maybe full of debris or something, but um, obviously it's not, so I'm sure the people in Okara will be happy to have the drunk miner who lost everything dear to him in the war. Oh, as well as Paladin Randall, who actually probably will be abused. I'm not actually sure. Rand Randall might not be a paladin. He might just be part of the war. But anyway, I'm uh, shooting these ogres, and they're not following because I uh, shoot them out of the line of sight, and they, they don't seem to understand the terrain well enough to come get them for some reason, so that's creating a bit of a frustration from the you know, efficiency standpoint. So I think, you know, obviously this technique, you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times. It's the old kite them with the bow technique. Isolate them one at a time, so I've isolated this one. And I'm gonna shoot him. And he's gonna get confused about the train, I bet. Or maybe not. Either way, he's almost dead. Right, 
So we got this over here right now. There it is. Hope we just give you a nice experience. I don't know why I'm turning around there, but go ahead and grab his. Um, I guess I'm gonna save real quick. And after I saved, I skipped ahead to uh, me killing the next ogre. Go ahead and grab his stuff. I like how they died in almost identical position there. It's like synchronized swimming. It looks like a four-handed monster now. Be nice if I could get this third one to die right on top of them, but I doubt it. Anyway, I think I'm gonna skip ahead here too. There we go. So I killed the third one almost on top of the other two. He's just laying a little bit different angle there. And I guess there's a fourth one here, so I guess I'll take him out. And he's gone. Okay, so we've killed the four ogres, and now we're just gonna loot this valley. Now, there's just some random items and plants and some uh, arrows, or not arrows, but like, you know, your typical rusty axe. Um, you know, some very average chests uh, that we'll grab. Some reefer in it. Uh, empty vial. This little chest has a uh, magic ring, so I think this might be a miscellaneous magic chest, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Either way, you should go ahead and grab it. Just some plants and whatnot. Nothing very exciting. So anyway, obviously, oh, oh dragon root, that's exciting. That's a plus one strength if you eat it raw or if you put it in a potion, you go up from there. So that's probably the most valuable item in the valley here is the dragon root. We can call this dragon root gorge. Oh, and king sword, even more exciting. But let's call it dragon root gorge for future reference. to get up to the top where Okara, the entrance is. Should be right over here. I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm just jumping around and being goofball. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um, turn in some quests. Now, everybody know Kara is uh, blue slash aqua slash teal or whatever color that is because I've got 80 um, reputation sure. points with them now. To talk. So, as you can see, um, I don't have a lot of smithing Thanks. skills, however. So, what I'm gonna do now that I've got all these people and the we've got of maybe a surplus of money, I found. Wow. Where did you dig him up? Good job, friend. Carry on. A prospector named Owen is quite... Bring him here. There's... All right. Then we will have to make do with the people we've got. Okay, so... It'll all work out somehow. So I've got Thanks all for your the help. people that I can possibly get now, so that's good. That's good for... So I've got 92 of our reputation. That's amazing. Tell me more about the weapons forge. This is where we make most of the weapons that the rebels need to fight the orcs. Now that I've Our got iron mine provides the raw materials we need. It's nothing like the magic ore mines of Nordmar, but still enough to make the orcs take an interest. This we guy need will teach to be me, careful. Uh, blacksmithing now. Is there anything you need? Hmm, I still need some iron ore. About five pieces. Can you get it for me? Here you go. Five pieces of iron ore. Thanks. You've done enough for me now, my friend. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Still, it can't go Te like this. I'll just play the scene. So I'm gonna look and see what blacksmithing recipes like I have right now. Or blueprints or whatever you call them. You have to watch what you say. Someday this will be over. I don't believe a word. 
Okay, and here they are. I don't know if you're right about that. Faster sword, broadsword, ruby blade, and two-hander. So I'm gonna see what he has to sell me now. Show me. I really like this mine collar armor, but it's 20 grand and I only have 12, 797. But I could sell some things. Cut it out. Bad enough as it is. I'm getting quite a bit of iron from my uh, exploits in these caves. And blacksmithing is a great way to make money in this game. So I will definitely be interested in selling some of the things I blacksmith here in a minute. I don't believe a word. Are you serious? I don't have a problem with that. So, in order to make a weapon, and I'm not sure if I've done this in the series yet, by the way, as you can see there, I've added longsword to my list. You just click on the uh, blue blueprint that you want, select the number of things you want to make. I'm going to make four, five bastard swords. I could make 20 total, but I decided to make uh, four. And I'm going to make a couple broad swords as well. Sure. Looks like I'm gonna make a long sword. I don't have enough experience. Can't make the ruby blade because I need to learn how to forge magic or weapons. But uh, could make a two-hander, perhaps. I'll just wait and see. Make uh, I'll make one of those. So I think I'm just making at least one of each item that I can make, plus a, a couple extra bastard swords that I can sell. And as you can see, I don't know how to forge magic or weapons, but I do need 25 smithing points, and I only have 11, so it's a little bit out of reach right now. So Show I'm going to go back into the transactions menu, and I'm going to sell my uh, bastard swords to you know, three, of, three of the four. Or maybe four of the five, I guess. I don't believe a word. Well, I guess three of the, f the four. Or three of the five. Like that, I'll never get anywhere. I'm going to add the minecraft armor plan on the other side of the equation, sure. sell a couple of other weapons here, and the uh, ironic thing is I'm going to end up losing money even though I was clearly in a position to be making money earlier when I was looking at this transaction. Yeah, sure. You're a fine one to talk. Okay, so obviously I'm pleased that I've got the mind color armor. Now, in order to make it, I need a leather breast tank, which I don't have, five intact crawler plates, of which I have six, six snapper leather, of which I have only two, and six broken crawler plates, which I have 26 of. So, really, what I need is the leather breast tank, whatever that is. Sharpen my weapons now. So you go to the whetstone. I think we've done this before. That won't do anything. I usually Not just like click that. things until they stop being allowed to click. Not like that. Hmm. That won't. That won't do. Not like that. That. Not like that won't do. Anything. That won't do. Anything. So I've sharpened Not everything like in my that. inventory. Sharpening gives just a flat plus ten bonus, which is significant. If you have a weapon that's worth, um, that does ninety damage, that's ten percent. Well, ten would be. Um, 10 ninetieths, which is uh, sure. one ninth, yeah. which is you know like 1.2% or 12 percent. You better stay out of. Anyway, I'm looking at his bows and stuff. Too expensive right now. So anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode for now. Now that we've kind of sold a bunch of stuff here in uh, Okara, and we'll pick it up next time 
on Let's Play Gothic 3. And just remember, Professor Snuggles is looking out for you.